Just a disclaimer, this video is purely on making your own fertilizers using Korean natural farming practices. All right, I'm all stocked up to make my first full batch of Oriental Herbal Nutrient or OHN as they call it in Korean natural farming. It uses the fermentation with brown sugar and alcohol to make a super concentrated organic fertilizer which they use throughout the whole process of the plant growth. It uses garlic, your ginger, licorice root, angelica root and cinnamon. All of these ingredients have anti-pathogenic properties to boost your plant's growth. It takes three months to make this fertilizer, so you want to do a decent sized batch of it and you want to do them all together because you're going to be stirring each day after the fermentation process is done. It's easier if it's all combined at once and that way um, everything's done together. The first step is to do your dry ingredients and rehydrate them with beer, uh, so cinnamon, Angelica root and licorice root are the dry ingredients. You want to rehydrate them with beer for 24 hours and then do the fermentation process after that. So with the wet ingredients, the ginger and the garlic, we'll do those 24 hours later after the dry ingredients have been rehydrated. What you'll need is scales, uh, lids for your jars, your jars and a marker um, just to label which one's which. So I've written the jar weight on the jars, just so you later down the track, you know, when you're measuring, it's a lot easier. And keep your eyes out for some nice big jars, which you can fit your, your fist in, because these are priceless. And for the wet ingredients tomorrow, you'll need something to bash them up with, a chopping board helps, and a dish to Mix your brown sugar and wet ingredient before you put it into the jar. Learned my lesson with that last time. A lot of brown sugar. Your beer. My brother will be happy I chose Cooper's. He's an avid Cooper's fan. But these are some of the fertilizers that I use already. I lactobacillus, turmeric, OHN. So that is another ingredient which has anti-pathogenic properties that you can do. Banana, PJ, fulvic acid, my freshly made baffle vinegar, comfrey, and my ginger OHN I've already done. So you'll need four jars for your dry ingredients, one for cinnamon, one for licorice root, and two for angelica root. And you want to fill them with about one-tenth dry ingredient, and then half fill the jars with beer. Time to rehydrate with your chosen low alcohol beverage. So filling the jars to half with the beer. I've marked halfway roughly on the jars to make it easier for yourself. And also the jar weight so you know how much the material inside weighs when you do your ferment with your brown sugar. So I'm going to fill it approximately halfway in the jars. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit off, you know, in this case, close enough is good enough. This isn't rocket science. Cut them off with a breathable lid. I'll see you tomorrow. So we're back. 24 hours later, the dry ingredients are now rehydrated and it's time to add brown sugar and mash up the wet ingredients and ferment those too. So you want to fill the jars two thirds roughly with the brown sugar. You still want that last third uh, for when we put in the vodka to make the OHN. I forgot to mention you'll need a funnel too after the fermentation is done and your lids to cap off your tonics 
so the vodka doesn't evaporate and of course you need vodka. I use vodka O because it's the triple distilled stuff. Nothing but the best. We want to try and get the wet ingredients and brown sugar to two thirds of your jar so it's similar to this. Doesn't matter if you're a little bit out, I mean it helps if you're accurate here because then you use all the ingredients at once and then you make another batch rather than having some left over or one run out before the others. Remember 50-50 wet ingredients to brown sugar. You can do 50-50 to your dry ingredients. You will have leftover sugar because you've already filled these 50% with beer. So just to two thirds. And I've upgraded my basher to a glass jar. So let's begin. You mash up your wet ingredients to increase the surface area. Magic. So we've got 432 grams of ginger, so now we add equal parts brown sugar. You might need a little bit more brown sugar just to cap off the mixture, and it is a little bit wet as well. Mix, and then put back in the jar, cover with a very little lid, and repeat the, the garlic. Just to remember to leave the skin on because that has its own properties as well. There's the ginger ferment started. So before recapping the rehydrated herbs, you give them a quick stir just to mix that brown sugar through. Chris Trump says to do it clockwise. This is where I learned this from. And uh, I'll try and link his video in the description below. And you want to wash his wooden spoon or just flip it or get another one. So here's our final ingredients, fermented. Now we wait a week before we add the vodka. So we've got the two angelica, the licorice root, cinnamon, garlic, and ginger. I'll see you in a week. Note to self. It is quite messy banging the garlic and rolling the ginger or vice versa. So make sure you have a nice tidy area or a messy area you can work with and the garlic smells so you'll be keeping away vampires for weeks happy days welcome back my week has elapsed and it's now time to cool these babies down by adding my vodka. So what we'll do, we'll fill the jar to about 95%, leave a little bit for air and give it a stir just to mix it through thoroughly. Thought I'd just give a quick shout out to Emma Snare, my acupuncture extraordinaire. She's also my Chinese herbal medicinist. Hooking me up with these dried herbs from the other side of Australia. I'll leave her contact details in the description. If you want to try this at home, hit her up and she'll order them for you. You can see the garlic has dropped quite considerably and is at approximately two thirds in line with the other one. I was a bit under on the ginger. Lovely microbial activity in the ferment of the licorice and the angelica so the vodka will just help put that to sleep it's just extra goodness in the fertilizer happy days so for this step you'll need your vodka or chosen high alcohol contact spirits your stirring stick and your lids to cap them off so the alcohol doesn't evaporate after this that's about it
So I filled them up to about 80-85% just to give me some room to stir them and then I'll top them up with the rest of the vodka. Clockwise stir, hey Chris. Give it a good stir to mix everything through, get that brown sugar through, get the vodka through, and then top it up to 95%. And seal it with your lids. So now we leave for two weeks and stir each day with your wooden spoon. This is the stabilization process. Alrighty, it's been two weeks since I started stabilizing my ferments and now it's time for the first extraction. So ideally you want um, double the volume of these jars in a final container so you're not going back between jars. But I haven't done that, so I'm going to be going back between the jars. So I'm going to be siphoning into the big one and then putting the final liquid in here. So I'll strain off each of the ferments into my jar here and then I'll refill the jars to two thirds uh, with the original liquid. Then I'll top up with fresh vodka. The remaining one third of the liquid from the original will go into your chosen jar. So at this stage, the first extraction, make sure that your ginger and your garlic are equal liquid to the rest of them. Just because it is a solid, you'll find that there might be some variation in the extracted liquid. Chris says to compare it with your Angelica extract and that will give you a good ballpark. So you don't need to tip all the solids out. That's just what happened, because you only want the liquid here. Got the two thirds mark on the side of the jar, so we'll fill back to there. Now, top up with your alcohol. A little secret, if you want to make something quite delicious, add a whiskey or bourbon to the vodka and the ginger and you'll create an amazing ginger beer or ginger alcohol, ginger, ginger spirits, ginger flavoured, ginger flavoured spirits that you'll want to, a ginger flavoured spirits that will make your mouth zing. So back to 95%, give it a good stir, cap it off and stir every day for the next two weeks and repeat. Now if you had big jars, you wouldn't need to do this, you would just serve them straight into your chosen jar. Cap it off and write what it is and a date would be helpful as well. So rinse and dry your sieve off. You don't want any water getting in and contaminating your fertilizer. You'll probably have to squish the ginger and the garlic down a little bit because of their surface area. Try and get as much of the liquid out as possible in these ones because you might have to take some solids out just to get that same liquid across the batch. So I'm just removing some garlic solids. I can already see my garlic is going to be less liquid than the rest because it's less than ginger. So you can keep the solids and use them in cooking 
or put them in your compost. So you can see the garlic is lower than the others. The ginger is a little bit more because there was less to begin with in terms of solids in the jar. Removing that tiny bit of garlic should be enough to keep it level throughout the whole process. So glass jars are the best to store it in. Alternatively, you can use the high density plastic containers. You want to be careful about using plastic though with alcohol because the alcohol can degrade your plastic and contaminate your fertilizer. So my first extraction is done. Now we wait another two weeks, stirring each day, and then repeat what we just did. If I'm honest, I missed my first day and my last day of stirring. So For extraction number two, extraction two, three and four are exactly the same. So because we're using small bottles, uh, it's going to be a bit interesting, but if you can get large containers to put your extracted liquid in, you don't have to do half of this step. It saves a lot of trouble. Pour your extracted liquid from extraction number one into your big jar, and then you pour your whole jar with liquid in. Put the solids back in, fill to two thirds, and then fill with fresh vodka. It's the same with all of them. Just check this is cinnamon. Fill back to two thirds. Fresh vodka. Cap. All right, extraction number two done. Repeat for extraction three and four during every day. I'll see you in another two weeks. Ricky. Back for extraction number three. Ta-da, done. So two more extractions to go. Four more weeks. That means we're two months in. Happy days. So I'm making water soluble calcium here. I cooked off some eggshell for a few hours to get rid of all the organic matter. And then I just added uh, 10 parts vinegar for every one part eggshell. And you can see that bubbling away nicely. You leave that for about 10 days and then you've got a calcium fertilizer. Pretty good. Extraction number four. Boom! One more extraction to go! Last extraction! Number five! So we just empty all the wet ingredients into one container, make sure it's all uniform, and then cap it off airtight so it doesn't evaporate. Remaining solids go into your compost or anything else you can think of. Um, first preference would be cooking, but I, um, I'm not that creative in the kitchen, so I don't know what I would use angelica root for. Cinnamon. I use cinnamon on the pancakes. Garlic. Ah, the vampires. Yep, good old garlic. Ginger. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Ah, uh -huh, Rob, you make life 
difficult for yourself. This is a three litre jar. And these are roughly two litres. And I've got roughly four litres of liquid. Ah! Just trying to wash all that goodness out of the jar. Leave that to drain for a few minutes. Sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. Sweet as sugar. Uh, expensive spillage. Three months in the making, OHN fertilizer. Done. And there you have it. There is the finished product of the OHN. So it's one part of each of the ingredients that you use, so two part Angelica's. I'm gonna leave them in their individual bottles. They store better that way, and I've only made enough OHN for a couple months. One of the best things about this fertilizer is that it's shelf stable and lasts forever, and after two years, it increases in concentration. Use OHN for your weekly maintenance spray with fermented plant juice and brown rice vinegar. You also use it when you first make your garden bed. You can soak seeds with it as well. OHN's ratio is one part to every thousand parts water. Now it's time to use it! Cool bananas!